Kokhtyun Dompretso is a town in the eastern part of Dolomites that is located close to some of the most famous landscape photography landmarks in the area. Whether that is epic mountain ridges or one of the most popular Instagram lakes, this place has it all. Tenshimi di Lavadero, or Three Peaks of Lavadero, is one of the best known mountain groups in Italian Dolomites. But if you do have some time to spare, I highly recommend exploring some of the least known locations, such as Lake D'Antorno, located just en route to Tresciume. It's a beautiful lake that offers everything a landscape photographer might need for a great image. Hey guys, another beautiful morning here in Dolomites, the sun is shining, we are ready to start our adventure and today we're heading to Tresame, that's a national park here in Cartina D'Amprezza area. It should be very nice, it should be very picturesque, uh, the famous rock formations, super excited about that. Uh, but we made a short stop here on the way there, at a small lake called Lago D'Antorno. Uh, there are mountains, there's water, there's ice, there's everything you need for a good photo, so we're gonna uh, head around the lake and see what we can find. I'm actually quite impressed by this lake. I didn't think much of it at first, but we make the round trip around it and it's a short hike, I don't know, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes at most, but it offers some unique perspectives and definitely recommend stopping here. It's a, it's a short stop and it's pretty, pretty beautiful. Getting to Trecime is relatively easy. There is a big parking lot where all the hiking routes start. You have to pay for entry though and the prices aren't exactly cheap. Your only alternative though is to leave the car outside the access point and hike an additional 5 kilometers uphill, which is hardly ideal. There are plenty of hiking trails and vantage points in Trecime, so it's best if you can spend a few days in the area. Sadly, we did not have that luxury and were limited to a single afternoon only. Fortunately, we got very lucky with the weather, but in the mountains it's always a risk, so having more time often pays off. You can hike around Trishime both clockwise and counterclockwise. We decided to follow the path that circles the mountain from the west, hoping that afternoon sun would better highlight the rocks. In the morning the opposite direction might be a better idea. The whole area is absolutely gorgeous and offers plenty of photo opportunities. So if you want to hike a full circle, allow yourself plenty of time.
So I think I found my sunset locations right here. Uh, the sun is still setting, so it gives me a bit of time to set up here. That was pretty simple uh, tripod, and I'm using a polarizer filter just to bring up more detail on those uh, like cloud streaks in the sky. So now I'm just waiting for the sun to uh, set and, uh, and hoping for some nice color in the sky. In the end we only managed to complete half the route. This is definitely an area I want to return to and explore more. On the upside, on our way back to the car, we were treated to the most amazing sunset light about the mountains. No landscape photographer could ever hope for more. Lagodi Bryce is probably one of the most famous locations in the Dolomites. It attracts literally hordes of photographers, Instagrammers and tourists, and it's easy to see why. With its deep green water and mountains all around, it's incredibly beautiful. Getting to the lake is easy. There is a huge parking lot right next to it and then just a few minutes walk to the lake itself. There is a scenic hike that goes around the lake and it would take anywhere between an hour and a half and three hours to complete, depending on how much you stop for photos. We're just finishing our hike around the lake and if you're like us and stop a lot to take images, it can easily take a couple of hours. There are beautiful views all along the way, um, even if the light is not great as it is now during the day, it's still, still magnificent, still offers quite a few uh, potential images and yeah, it's a beautiful hike, it's, uh, it's a very nice way to spend the afternoon, so definitely recommend it. For best photos, I recommend coming here for sunrise, when the wind hasn't picked up yet, disturbing the reflections in the water, and there aren't many people around. If that is not possible, try to at least stay until sunset, when the boathouse closes and the area calms down again.
For now, this completes my Dolomite mini series, but it's definitely a place I intend to visit again in the future because the photo opportunities here are just endless. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon.